We go one and two on the three best prop bets for UFC 306 as Valentina Shevchenko by decision comes through at plus 195, pretty much making it a wash in terms of the top three best prop bets. The other ones were Ronaldo uh, Rodriguez by submission at plus 350. I just don't think he had the gas tank nor the wherewithal to return from being pretty much knocked out in the first round by Ode Osborne. Uh, and then Raul Rosas Jr. round one plus 140. Shout out to Arichi Lang for making the defensive grappling improvements that he needed to to make that fight closer than the odds suggested uh but unfortunately for us we have to rip up that rosas jr round one ticket also the long shot rodriguez round two submission plus 1300 does not come through for us uh for the aforementioned reasons uh got another three best prop acts, uh plus a uh, long shot for you guys for ufc paris uh reminder pfl europe breakdowns will not be on youtube this week they'll only be in written form on the MMA, LOT, and Patreon page. Link for that is in the description below. That card goes down at the same time as the UFC Paris card, so you can pop up two screens, watch both fights, and hopefully cash multiple tickets over those cards with the help of the MMA, LOT, and breakdowns. Check the link in the description below for that. All right, let's get right into it first. Best prop bet that I got for you guys for this card is going to be Nora Kernol by decision at plus 390. Now, she's an underdog to an opponent that she's already suffered a defeat to in her first professional fight back in mid-2021. I believe that this will be a much closer fight with Jacqueline Cavalcante. And even though Cavalcante might be the slightly slicker striker, I think the aggressiveness and comfortability of Kernol in the MMA cage now will do a great job for her to get the victory and even the score here against Cavalcante. Look for Kernol to keep the forward pressure, stay in Cavalcante's face, and take advantage of the fact that Cavalcante has taken this fight on a month's notice and traveling across the world, having to cut weight again. Probably not the best of looks or decisions for Cavalcante. And again, I think we're going to see a much improved version of Kernol compared to the first time that they threw down. The uh, And I think she wins this fight by decision at plus 390. The second best prop bet uh, is going to be Morgan Sherrier, round two at plus 370. We know Gabriel Miranda has a horrible gas tank issue, and he normally comes out like a bat out of hell looking to submit and grapple his opponents in that first round. But I think Sherrier has showcased good enough submission defense in the past and good enough scrambling and reversals that he's going to keep Miranda working, blow that gas tank of Miranda quickly. And I think by the second round, it'd be ripe for the picking for Sherrier to be buoyed by the French crowd to get a finish year and get a big emphatic victory uh, round one is a possibility as well but at round two plus 370 odds i'm gonna list that as the second best prop bet the third and final best prop bet that i got here for you guys is going to be joanderson and Brito, round three plus 650 now that's a little bit shorter than i would like for a round three prop especially when you guys see the long shot that i have for you guys uh but it seems like the public is privy to gomez slowing down as much as he does and i think that Brito will do a great job in terms of taking Taking full advantage of that it's possible that i could get the round two finish as well so if you feel a little bit skeptical about round three go ahead and sprinkle a little bit on round two but i think brito's relentless pressure and aggressive approach is going to cause gomez a ton of issues especially with gomez skirting backward pretty much the entire fight i think brito will do a great job in terms of cutting off the cage landing big shots maybe even landing some takedowns and getting some good work done from that top position but i think it's just a matter of time before brito uh, breaks gomez and then from there he should be able to find that finish I I'm hoping that Gomez does enough to at least survive 10 minutes, but then get finished in the final five minutes and a plus 650. I'm willing to take a shot on that. The long shot that I got for you guys is going to be Brian Battle, round three at plus 1400 as he takes on Kevin Juice. Now, both these guys are on a bit of a run. Obviously, Juice a little bit longer than the run that Battle is on. But I think Battle's pressure striking approach is going to cause Juice a ton of problems. Juice is not a huge finisher by any means. And I think Battle will do a good job in terms of pressuring Juice. Uh, keeping that activity high, uh, working the body of Juice, and then eventually turning up the pressure in round three, which he has known to do in the past. And I think that will lead to him getting a late finish here over Juice. Battle, uh, again, Juice might be the better martial artist, but I think that Battle is the better uh, mixed martial artist here and better fighter. And I think that will allow him to really just keep that pressure on Juice, utilize that teep up the middle, those straight shots down the pipe, Keep Juice swinging at air and then turn up that volume late in this matchup and hopefully get the finish late in this fight. So give me Brian Battle, round three, plus 1400 as the long shot for this week's UFC of Paris card. All right. 
That's a wrap on the UFC Paris content for this week. I will be back Monday to break down the Contender Series Week 8 card for you guys. Hopefully, we can keep the momentum rolling there. Appreciate all the new followers, new subscribers. Um, you guys obviously make this a lot easier to do with all the support you guys show. Uh, hopefully, we can keep the good times rolling this weekend with UFC Paris and roll that right into the Contender Series card. And hopefully do very well on the PFL Europe card, which again is on the Patreon page in written form if you guys want to check that out. All right. Good luck on all your action this weekend, folks. I'll see you guys Monday for the Contender Series Breakdowns. Peace.